Hey guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror game review and today we're going to be looking at Amnesia, a machine for pigs. A Machine for Pigs is a survival horror game developed by the Chinese Room and it's the sequel to the Amnesia Dark Descent and it was released in 2013. The game takes place in London in 1899 on New Year's Eve. You play Oswald Mandis, the great grandson of Daniel Mandis from the first game. So you wake up in this game with amnesia in a mansion and you get led along by phone calls from this fellow named the engineer. Hello? Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. And he's helping you find your missing sons and he's leading you through this complex and you have to do various tasks in order to get this machine running and in order to reach your sons. As you progress through the game you find various letters and sound recording devices that reveal more of the story and the why you're there exactly and who exactly you are. And eventually you get to a point in the game where you're terrorized by men that have been turned into pigs. So the things I liked about this game was there was quite a variety of different environments that you progress through. There's even some outdoor parts where you walk through city streets. And it is pretty enclosed and linear, but it was still cool to get to go outside. And there's a lot of industrial type areas you go through, but you start off like in a pretty cool mansion. So I thought there was a good variety of um, areas that you got to go through in this one. And I definitely think they simplified the gameplay some. And I kind of liked it. After playing The Dark Descent, you had uh, an inventory and you picked up fuel for your lantern and tinder boxes to light candles to brighten up the area you were in. And um, I didn't really think that was that enriching for The Dark Descent. And I never really ran out of lamp fuel in the dark descent so I thought it was a little goofy that they even had you pick it up so in this one you just walk around with a lamp and you're not concerned with picking anything up except like reading letters that's like the only thing you pick up in this one and another thing I liked about this game is I thought it was a pretty uh, in-depth and creative story and you definitely want to read and listen to all the story stuff that's laid out throughout the whole areas you're looking in. Um, I thought they did a good job with that and I thought it was a unique story. Okay, so the things I didn't like about this game and the first thing I'll say is this one is not scary. Like, I don't think it was... Um, I jumped once while playing this game. Um, there's a few times like where uh, you know there's a pig man around and you might feel a little tense, but um, it was never like very stressful. <laughs> you just kind of ran by him or ran away from him. And the game is pretty linear, so you pretty much know exactly where you need to go when there was a pig man around. While I like that they kind of made it simpler, there isn't really much to it as being a game. The puzzles in the game were all very simple. They didn't take long to figure out at all. And it was basically just a game where you just kind of walk through 
and you know move this here pull this lever um, and you didn't really ever have to think too hard playing this game so the pigmen are the only enemies you come across um, there was a part where I was near water and I heard splashing and uh, I never had to really deal with whatever was in the water so I don't know if they brought back the invisible creature that follows you in water or not um, or if it was just a pig that I never really got a glimpse of and then eventually towards the end of the game you come across a pig man that's like got a, like Tesla coils on its back and it, um, really all you really face are these pigmen and uh, I just wish they would have came up with more things to be frightened of you know another thing about this game being too simple is I, I don't think I died one time playing this game and uh, I know in the dark descent I died quite a few times um, but yeah this one I can't remember one time I died I got this game for really cheap during a steam sale like I think I paid like $3.99 and look I wouldn't pay any more than that uh, this game's not really worth that um, I can never see playing it again I mean it's just kinda like watching a movie I mean you do have to do some stuff but um, to pay more than like five bucks for this I think would be a waste of money and I definitely feel like it was almost like a downgrade at least as far as being a video game from the dark descent and with it not really being scary at all I I just feel like a games should get better they should have more to them uh, you know they should improve um, the only thing I can really say that was that great is it was kind of an intriguing story but uh, other than that there wasn't much better than the previous game so I'm gonna have to give this game a 5 out of 10 and I mean I would suggest it if you're a big fan of these types of survival horror games but I really don't think you're gonna find something that spectacular in this game uh, and it's not that great of a horror game all around okay you guys that ought to do it and I'll see you on the next review